marketing, communications, marketing for ourselves. Thanks, Kevin. Okay, thank you, Jeff. Jeff, I haven't got any open statements as such. I just wanted to just add, I'll offer a couple of points of clarification based on the debate so far this evening. Um, first one was the point which was raised by one of the early witnesses about um, having conversations with colleagues in News Quest to try and try and work together on this. First thing is that we have, have had those conversations already. We've had them with other organisations as well, and we're more than willing to continue those conversations. The point, four points, two important points to stress though. Our point one is that a non-negotiable non element of this whole endeavour is that every single resident must receive this information. It, it can't be a certain number of households, it needs to be all households. The second point is, is really that these discussions and whatever arrangement we come to with whatever supplier is a commercial arrangement uh, and therefore there's a process to follow. Um, the cabinet member mentioned earlier on that um, subject to the outcome this evening will be going into the tender process for both print and distribution of this book. The cost of which of both elements are actually included in the cabinet report and the overall costs. Um, I'm sure Newsquest, I'm sure Trinity, and I'm sure a range of different organisations will come to us wanting to do that work, but there's a process that we, that we will and must follow to actually get to that point. Um, the second point is um, three parts really, and it's the other publications that are published by other councils that have been used as kind of a comparison point. Uh, the first one was when it's time, which is a, a part of the a, a part of the call in this evening. Um, it's absolutely true that uh, Greenwich, within a long protracted um, negotiation with the CLG, uh, they ran a weekly newspaper. They called it a newspaper uh, called Greenwich Time. Uh, they stopped it at the end of June. The following week, they took a report to their cabinet saying that they weren't going to do a newspaper any, anymore, they were going to do residence publication. And rather than 52 editions a year, they were going to do 26. Um, they described it in very similar terms to ours, uh, the new publication. The other two that I can mention are the Tower Hamlet's publication, which was called East End Life, again, which was called by a newspaper. Um, looked like a newspaper, talked like a newspaper, was a newspaper. Um, the third one was very similar again, happening today, which is a formatted publication, which is a newspaper. They call it a newspaper and it's distributed twice, um, sorry, once every format to every resident. We've never called this a newspaper. In any of our publications, in any of our cabinet reports, in any, any time any of us have ever, ever spoken about, never said this was going to be a newspaper. It won't be designed to look like one and it won't be, it won't be one. This is about information about public services and about information about our services and then about partners that resident to find new useful. We're not going to try and identify this to be news. That is the job that we need there. We we, we, we're not trying to get into that business. So with that said, Chair, I'm happy to take questions. Thanks for that, Clark. Kevin, can you answer who's in control of and my understanding is the delay of council. Yeah. Thank you. Tom. Thank you, Chair. And the same type of newspaper, Kevin, so what are you going to call it? And if you're going to be seeking advertising revenues, isn't that sort of going down the newspaper as well? Okay. Um, okay, Chair. Right. Yeah, okay. Um, we haven't decided on the final name yet. We've got a few different titles. Um, there's a range of different things, and it's called. In terms of the advertising, I think that's, that's an important point to talk about in general as well as answering the question. In that advertising is a byproduct of this, the opportunity to generate some revenue is a byproduct of this. It is absolutely not the rational, the reason that we're doing it. Um, we will not be seeking to directly compete with other organisations, although I absolutely understand that concern. Um, it was mentioned earlier on about the potential to undercut and things like that. Again, we haven't finalised the present structure, we have got no intention of actually got the intention of charging quite significantly more and may not have a different space in the market because as again as I say is that we don't see this as a newspaper. If you look through um, weekly and daily um, newspapers um, are, that are operating on local patch right way across the country, the advertising model is quite straightforward. It's about classifieds, it's about family notices, it's about property and cars and all range of all manner of different differences. We're not really looking for that. We're looking at local service providers, we're looking at our partners. Um, we think that we can coexist, but we absolutely understand the concern and we're comfortable and we're happy to continue talking to our partners both in News Press but also the other huge media organisations that actually operate in this patch, like Trinity Pillar, like News Press, as I mentioned, like Clear Channel, like Titan Outdoor, like there are an awful lot of them, like huge organisations. We think we can coexist. 
uh, what we're going to keep, we will keep that on the view. Did that answer any question? I'm sorry. It did. Um, just as a follow-up, I just want to unpack what actually the information we will get to go next. Um, and as Councillor Rennie has rightly said, you know about the process, so who, who will actually write this publication? And who will have the final sign off? Because from what I've heard, you know, Sergio will have the same releases between yourselves. Yeah. Um, you know, who will actually sign this book? Um, so, two parts. In terms of what we're covering, I think we've tried to cover that in, in the capital report um, as, as, as fully as we could. What we'll be looking at doing is presenting information about the services and the activities that are, are happening and available to residents. But we'll try and do it in a way that's actually engaging and interesting for residents as well. Um, in terms of who will, who will write it, my team will write it, definitely. Um, we'll also be getting content shared with us from some of the members of the Royal Partnership, people like Police, Fire, and various NHS bodies. We'll be giving ideas for content as well as writing up yeah, information for us. In terms of the second part of the question, um, I will act as manager of the publication to allow me to make the original decision of what goes in and what does not. Um, I will, every month for every publication, I will um, escalate that content plan as well as the final draft through our, through our strategic leadership team. And um, they will collectively sign off this publication. So that strategic leadership team consists of myself as the senior officer. Six months after 12 months, after 24 months, and we'll be doing some more research. And 
not more pictures of us on there, but instead everybody does on the pizza there. We have people out there that we are on the street with clipboards talking to people about how they actually, how they, whether they read it, whether they enjoy it, whether it's worthwhile, I'll put the suggestions, but it's a really good point, and it's something that we just need to put keep on the media. Because I don't know the answer whether you're asking me to leave it, but I need to mention it.
that says how do I know it, it will be this will be better than that, or how do I know that this will be more effectual? I don't. You know, that's that's so what I need to do is just be sure it's the highest possible quality and that we measure it in that. And we're making well, we've had an awful lot of discussion tonight about what this may or may not be. It's quite difficult to have that kind of debate no one's ever seen it. Um, where it's absolutely shaking the head, we can't say what this is going to be because we've seen it. Um, and my view is that I just make it the best po possible quality product and I, and I measure it and research it as much as possible to make it better as we can. Perhaps you might just cancel the other schools, you know. You know, we're going to have a mission. In terms of the page, I've yet to be following everything, which is a minimum of 28 or two, a maximum of 36. Um, the, the, the way it's um, printed and the way it's, um, the way it's by the way, it goes up in increments of the four. So you've got 28, 32, or 36. Um, in terms of advertising, we think less than 20%. Um, it won't be dedicated pages, the advertising will be composite, so we can sell quarter pages, half pages, four. Um, so it'll be spread for us. But I, 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 it, you're looking at, at 20% of the actual maximum. Um, the last point, it wasn't anyone's specific idea. We, we came across another, another uh, we came across a council newspaper.
actually is from that option, uh, but they show a direct correlation between those councils that made extra efforts to communicate directly to each and every resident on a regular basis and how, how well informed residents think they feel and then how satisfied with their area as opposed to where those residents felt. Uh, I'm happy to say that that, that, that research if it's possible to get online and we have reviewed that as well. And finally, Chair, there's been some completion confusion around the way in which council communicates, whether or not um, council um, commissioning someone to do a, a consultation is the same as council buying out ties of space and liberal paper. Yeah. Could you just, for clarity in my mind, make it clear the difference between the two and exactly what the council, what you know, gap the council's you know, seeking to fill out? Okay, well, we run, we run um, budget consultations and a range of different consultations every um, year. Um, 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 in my mind, we do as well. Um, we talk to thousands of residents about specific issues and we effectively mobilise on, on a small group of people and get out to as many people as we can and talk to them directly about this particular issue. What we're talking about here is, in my mind, very different. This is about information about more or less every single council service, about community events and activities, about farming activities different services which are available to them, which if we try to do in a 30 second conversation like we do in the consultation, which would not be practical. It's, it's absolutely out of the in my mind. Um, sorry, finally, Chair, to, given that there's you know, a, a large percentage of the pop of the world's population which is receiving information on council currently, top in places, which other services can't seem to provide um, a kind of provider service to. Um, how do you look for the ways which this can be done? Yeah. Are you confident you've come to the right thing? Yeah, and um, that is, we have looked at a whole range of different things. We look at, I think, in about what, 50 different things at this point, in terms of how they do it, what they do, have our conversations with colleagues from many different organisations, uh, including our partners here. And uh, we all seem to have the same problem in that we can't quite get the, uh, for example, colleagues in the NHS, colleagues in fire, colleagues in the police, all say the same thing, that they struggle to get information to those areas which are most required to be done. So really for most of the public services, where most of the proposed public services are services that are actually targeted, they're the hardest places to communicate with generally. Um, we have had discussions with this with partner chief executives, partner heads of communications, they all face support this idea. Chris, would you want to come back? Yeah, two, just one question, Kevin. I'm assured by the by the Martin Office of Electric Objective Professional Legal Privilege. What I, what I will say is that uh, an awful lot of the, 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 the substance of it is actually is handled for. Um, we, we've replicated it, but we've been told that it's, 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 the, the advice was given to us on the basis of professional legal privilege, so uh, our hands are tied as far as I know.
more than four issues of Greenwich Times for any, any equivalent newspaper, news sheet, or similar communication in the period of one year from the 30th of June 2016 and in subsequent years. From 31st of December 2015, publicity from the mobile approach may include regular and frequent communication of information to those residents who choose to receive such by whatever medium they decide. And it goes on to talk about school admissions, things, deadlines, job opportunities, etc. Three, period after, the World War of Greenwich shall comply with the provisions of the 2011 Code recommended practice on local, local authority publicity to yeah. the full extent to so far in its force. And that is what the borough of Greenwich signed up to. <coughs> and so that is the clarification. They were challenged by the Secretary of State and accepted that they were no longer issue a newspaper or do it on a quarterly basis. Thank you. Thank you. 